On today's show, Mazda claims it has an HCCI breakthrough. Nissan is getting out of the EV battery business. And has BMW jumped the shark? All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. HCCI, or Homogeneous Charge Compression Ignition, is a technology that makes a gasoline engine behave like a diesel. It compresses the air-fuel mixture until it ignites. All major automakers have experimented with HCCI, but haven't been able to make them run well outside of the laboratory. But now Mazda says it has made a breakthrough and will come out with its own version called Skyactive X. Mazda overcomes transient conditions by switching between compression and spark ignition, what Mazda calls spark-controlled compression ignition. Not only does it make the switch between the two modes seamless, but it also maximizes the zone in which compression ignition is possible. Even when it's combined with a supercharger, the engine is 20 to 30% more efficient than current Skyactiv gasoline engines, and its fuel economy is on par or better than current Skyactiv diesel engines. Its horsepower and torque is also 10 to 30% better than current gasoline engines from Mazda. And the good part is, we won't have to wait too long to see it. Mazda says it will introduce the engine in 2019. You know, Carlos Ghosn used to brag that Nissan had a technological advantage with its batteries for electric cars. Other than Tesla, Nissan is the only automaker to build its own batteries. But in a sign of how rapidly EV battery technology is evolving, Nissan announced it's going to sell its battery business to a Chinese investment company called GSR. Nissan has three battery plants, one in Japan, one in the UK, and one in Tennessee that was built with a $1.4 billion loan from the U.S. Department of Energy. GSR says it's going to expand production and sell batteries to other automakers, especially in China. EV startup Faraday Future set very lofty goals, including building a brand new billion dollar, three million square foot assembly plant in Nevada. But then it ran out of money. Now the company is signing a lease for an existing 1 million square foot building in Hanford, California. Faraday says production will start next year, but it still needs to raise millions of dollars to keep the company going. Still to come, a look at what's up with what's going down at BMW. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. We start back with a quick update on the Tesla Model 3. Doing some fast math on numbers released by the EPA reveals, the Long Range 3 will have up to a 80 and a half kilowatt hour capacity battery pack. That's enough energy storage for 310 miles of range, which compares to 315 miles for the S and about 290 miles for the X with a 100 kilowatt hour pack. No word on battery size for the standard Model 3, which has 220 miles of range, because it hasn't gone on sale yet. BMW used to outsell Mercedes-Benz utility vehicles two to one. Now Mercedes outsells them by 46%. The Tesla Model S outsells the 7 Series by three to one. Dealers don't like BMW's stagnant styling. While analysts say BMW is a sports car company in an SUV world. And the company's foray into high-tech carbon fiber EVs isn't going well either. The i3's U.S. sales are down 17%, while the i8's drop by a staggering 65%. The recent president of BMW USA, Ludwig Village, took an early retirement, and Ian Robertson, the board member in charge of sales, is getting replaced. What is going on? Ward's Auto just came out with a fascinating article that looks at BMW's problems. So what do you think? Has BMW lost its way, or is it just going through a bit of a rough patch? Coming up next, Chrysler backs a ride-sharing service that's only for kids. 
lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go, and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. Utility vehicles are so hot right now that Genesis, a brand that launched without an SUV or CUV, said it's going to add another small compact crossover to fit below its two previously announced utilities. It will come out in 2021. Genesis will also launch its first EV then. And it's really going to need all those new vehicles. So far this year, Genesis only sold 11,500 cars in the American market. Automakers think that mobility services could represent a whole new business for them to get into. That's why we're seeing so much activity in this field. And now Chrysler formed a partnership with Kango, a ride-sharing service for kids between preschool and high school. Chrysler is providing a fleet of Pacifica hybrid minivans for Kango drivers to lease. And in case you're skeptical about your children riding with a stranger, they're Trustline certified, fingerprinted, background checked, DMV record checked, and screened in person. Kango also provides car or booster seats if needed. The fleet of Pacifica hybrids will be deployed this fall in the San Francisco Bay Area. But with that, we wrap up today's show. Thanks for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.